perhaps it looks a little bit intimidating because it it looks like it's going to involve the compound and girl formulas. So I just would like to point out uh, that the uh, sum and difference formulas for both sine and cosine are conjugates of each other. And conjugates are very useful constructs in algebra. You get, the con you get conjugates when you take a sum or a difference and instead of distributing negative one, you just multiply one piece by negative one. For example, x plus three and x minus three are conjugates. And conjugates are very useful because there is cancellation when we add, subtract, or multiply them. Then we add two conjugates, such as x plus three plus x minus three. The piece that has the same term is gonna double up and the other, and the terms that have alternating signs will cancel out each other. When we subtract, then the terms that have the same sign will cancel out and the other piece will double, double up. And when we multiply them together, we get the difference of squares to him because in foil, O and I will completely cancel out each other. So if we multiply X plus three times X minus three, we get X squared minus three X plus three X minus nine and minus three X and three X cancel out each other. Only conjugates do that. No, no other term, no other <clears throat> situation will cause this sort of cancellation. So it's gonna be important from time to time that the sum and difference formulas for sine and cosine are both conjugates. The sum formula for sine is sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. And the difference formula for sine is the same thing with just negative sine here. So they're conjugates, which means that there is gonna be lovely cancellation whenever we add these or subtract or multiply. And that's that's a good thing to keep in mind. The same, same thing is true for the cosines. Let's see, cosine of alpha plus beta is cosine alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta and cosine of alpha minus beta is the same thing with plus here. So same piece is one sign is identical, the other one alternately. So they're conjugates. And I think this is gonna be important in this problem. So as we discussed, sine of alpha plus beta and sine of alpha minus beta are conjugates. So there is gonna be cancellation when we multiply those two. O and I will we'll cancel out each other and we're gonna get the difference of squares theory. Clearly the right-hand side looks more complicated. So we're gonna mess with that. So the sum formula for sine is sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta, which we multiply by the same thing, just a minus here. So what we have is sine alpha cosine beta squared, which is sine squared alpha cosine squared beta, minus cosine alpha sine beta squared, which is cosine squared alpha sine squared beta. And we can separate uh, this difference by the numerator, we can say sine squared alpha cosine squared beta divided by cosine squared alpha cosine squared beta, which is, by the way, tangent squared alpha. So it looks like we're there, minus cosine squared alpha sine squared beta divided by cosine squared alpha cosine squared beta where cosine squared alpha cancels and sine squared beta over cosine squared beta is tangent squared beta. And that's the left hand side. So we don't see it looks scarier than it really is. It wasn't that bad. Thank you for watching.